Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. See, this is exactly what I was reporting on yesterday. This whole situation with Jeff Zucker was just a little bit too convenient, and the way that they were reporting on it just seemed highly disingenuous, almost as if they were hiding what was really going on behind the scenes. There's that famous quote from the first Matrix, where Morpheus tells Neo that, come with me and let me show you exactly how deep the rabbit hole goes. Well, I guess for this video, come with me and let me show you guys exactly how deep the CNN rabbit hole goes when it comes to this whole Jeff Zucker situation where they wanted to very conveniently and very quickly just have Jeff Zucker resign for an inappropriate relationship. That's it. No questions asked, folks. That's the story. Everybody is absolutely shocked. And for the news cycle to just move on. And then, of course, immediately it starts blowing up in CNN's face and specifically in Brian Stelter's face, as it turns out that there is much more scandal and much more going on behind the scenes than is being reported at CNN. It turns out that there's a pretty interesting dynamic going on here between Chris Cuomo, surprisingly enough, Andrew Cuomo, and Jeff Zucker. And now Brian Stelter is facing serious backlash as, of course, CNN's favorite propagandist and mainstream media shill Brian Stelter is facing calls to resign or be fired for his role in trying to cover everything up. Let me show you guys what's going on here. The question is, is this the end of CNN? Or at least, is this the end of CNN as we know it? It very well might be. Let me show you guys what's going on as CNN is allegedly about to clean house with Brian Stelter being first on the chopping block. But of course, before we get into any of it, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share the video as much as possible. We are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm hidden from non-subscribe viewers. And with that out of the way, let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so as we predicted yesterday, it seems as though there's much more to the story and media insider Megyn Kelly dropped some potential news bombs on Newsmax suggesting that there is much more to the story and that we are just getting the start of it. Take a look at this. And I'll tell you what, the biggest takeaway for me today, because th there will be more shoes to drop, mark my words, but the biggest takeaway for me today is whoa, whoa, for whoa, months. Whoa. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Megyn Kelly, don't drop that bomb without following that up. What, what do you mean there's more issues to drop from CNN? What do you got? There's, n there's nothing I can report to you now, <laughs> but mark my words there are more shoes to drop. Um, but what I was going to say is that the biggest takeaway for me today is that for months we've been asking, how does Jeffrey Tubin still have his job after masturbating himself on his Zoom call with The New Yorker while a CNN chief legal correspondent for the Supreme Court, a dignified post that he never should have kept after that happened? Um, how does Don Lemon still have a job after he's been credibly accused of fondling himself and then rubbing his hands all over some stranger in a bar who's got an eyewitness ready to testify as such? And how did Chris Cuomo keep his job for so long? After after it emerged that he was helping his brother go after the women who had been accusing him and so on mm. after lying about it on the air and claiming he de cares deeply about these issues. How? 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 Mm. Well, now we know how. The mm. boss had dirt of his own and he was worried that they would turn the tables and point the finger at him. And now it's happened and there's more to this story. Well, she says specifically, the boss had dirt of his own and he was worried that they would turn the tables and point the finger at him. And now it's happened and there's more to this story. Of course, exactly as expected. Who would have thought that Brian Stelter was being disingenuous? Mr. Reliable Sources, Mr. My Calling on this Earth is to fight disinformation and misinformation, would be once again caught being the exact guy pushing lies and propaganda in order to save his boss and his precious corrupt mainstream network. What an absolute clown. CNN insiders want Brian Stelter fired over Zucker Gullist cover-up. Brian Stelter reported the other day that it was an absolute shock to CNN. Nobody knew that Jeff Zucker and Mrs. Gullist were having an affair. A shock to everybody. But then it turns out from multiple reported sources that we covered last video that it was an open secret in the media industry and pretty much everybody knew. I mean, no surprise, Mrs. Gullist and Jeff Zucker have been pictured at so many events together, almost seeming like a couple going on a date. And it seems as though the intent here was to use this consensual relationship between Jeff Zucker and Mrs. Gullist as almost a scapegoat as a cop-out. A relatively benign scandal, it's a consensual relationship, violates office ethics, but it's not exactly a big deal. He's just gonna resign and story's over. Which of course Brian Stelter happily obliged for his boss, because that's what Brian Stelter does. He's a corrupt tool, a weapon, for the mainstream media establishment, and it seems to be catching up to him, possibly. The calls to fire CNN misinformation maven Brian Stelter are coming from inside the house. The network needs to step up and fire Brian Stelter, a CNN insider told the Daily Mail. He is allegedly our top media reporter, yet he failed to report on the scoop that everyone in the office knew. And if he wants to say that he didn't know, he is truly terrible at his job. A cable news veteran, who wishes not to be named, spoke of the close relationship between Stelter and Zucker. 
Zucker. Brian Stelter should be calling his agent to start looking for another job, they said. He's been Jeff Zucker's water boy for years, and no one believes that he didn't know about this. He's been sitting on his moral high horse, doing Jeff's bidding and ripping on Fox and every other media outlet that Jeff tells him to, while his ratings crash and burn. Where was he on the biggest story at his own network after chastising everybody else? Isn't that absolutely perfect, essentially exactly what I was just saying? Except this time it's coming from a CNN insider, somebody who actually works at CNN, who's calling him an absolute hypocrite, a liar, a propagandist, Jeff Zucker's puppet boy, exactly as we've been describing Brian Stelter basically since the start. And here's the confirmation from inside CNN, as well as calls to fire him. Well, now with Jeff Zucker out, it's possible that Brian Stelter goes with him. Talk about a two for one, two birds with one stone, as possibly another CNN propagandist might be on his way out. But no way you thought that we were done exploring this rabbit hole. Folks, it's real deep, and let me continue to show just how deep the rabbit hole goes. We've covered on the reports or the accusations that Jeff Zucker is resigning from CNN because Chris Cuomo allegedly has something on Jeff Zucker and Cuomo is trying to burn the place down, as even Brian Stelter reported. The Chris Cuomo reference. Cuomo was fired in December and he is not going out quietly. He was fired and there were reports that he wasn't going to get paid the millions of dollars that were going to be on the remainder of his contract. So as a source uh, said to me earlier today, he was trying to burn the place down. And what people are speculating is that Chris Cuomo, of course, asked for an $18 million payout after he was removed from the network, which, of course, Jeff Zucker refused or denied. And now Chris Cuomo is trying to get back at him. But now things get extra spicy, as the New York Post is reporting that CNN boss Jeff Zucker and his paramour, Allison Gollust, had an inappropriately close friendship with former Governor Andrew Cuomo, even coaching him on what to say during his infamous COOF briefings, the Post has learned. And there's another report that apparently disgraced former Democrat Governor Andrew Cuomo has some sort of incriminating evidence against Jeff Zucker and was blackmailing or threatening him with it, strong-arming Jeff Zucker to resign. And so here's where things get real, real interesting. So the initial scandal involving Chris Cuomo was that he aided his brother, who was dealing with all of these accusations and was dealing with all of these scandals. And that was a huge ethics violation that led to Chris Cuomo being fired in the end. But apparently, as we're learning right now, that it might have not just been Chris Cuomo, it might have been Jeff Zucker as well, who was involved in that propaganda circle. Then Chris Cuomo has to deal with an accusation, gets fired by Jeff Zucker, Jeff Zucker refused to pay him his $18 million payout, and then it seems as though Chris Cuomo and Andrew Cuomo are now conspiring against Jeff Zucker to try to take down CNN. An absolute mess. But what it really shows us in the end is all of these folks at CNN that are constantly virtue signaling and preaching from their ivory towers looking down at you are essentially the scum of the earth. A bunch of corrupt establishment figures cheating on their wives, being inappropriate with women, abusing their power, spreading misinformation and propaganda, and they have the audacity to look down at you. Once again, it's the contrast game, folks. The same people who have been preaching and clutching their pearls every time Donald Trump releases a mean tweet. Well, of course, in the end, they got a whole lot more skeletons in their closets, a whole lot more character flaws than Donald Trump ever did. What an absolute joke of a network. I don't know how they're going to survive this, folks. Scandal after scandal after scandal, it is never ending. With each and every scandal mounting on top of each other, all compiling together, making it worse and worse and worse, ratings continue to tank. With every added scandal, now Brian Stelter potentially out the door, Don Lamont eventually. Well, he's going to be on the chopping block considering he's literally in court defending himself against a harassment accusation, and harassment is putting it lightly. Well, in the end, folks, it looks like CNN is done, at least in its current state. There is no way that this is sustainable. A bunch of truly deplorable characters, all of them being knocked down like dominoes one by one. And it looks like CNN in the end, when it's all said and done, is going to be looking like a very different place in the next couple of years. As hopefully, Brian Stelter's next, then Don Lamont, then Jake Tapper, then Jim Acosta. Actually, probably Jim Acosta should be first, even before Brian Stelter. But you get the point. One by one, the dominoes should fall, hopefully. One can dream. And the end of CNN as we know it, might be right on the horizon. That's what I got for you guys, though. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share it as much as possible. We're still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm, hidden from non-subscribe viewers. I'm going to get back to work, though. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.